Hello again, a new day, a new project, and you know I've been uh, using and uh, testing these AB IoT amplifiers. AB868, 5V, or AB IoT868. That's of course for European uh, LoRa and Helium mining. In the same time, I was experimenting, and I'm still experimenting with patches and amplifiers, you know, for some other bands. Initially, these kind of amplifiers, they've been produced for drones and all kind of RC devices. So these are not exactly specialized in helium or LoRa or something. Anyway, but some clever guys realized that changing some parts here, they can uh, make them use in uh, European or American or Australian band and so on. The point is that if you are trying to use one of these on 333 or 343 or 510 megahertz in uh, 868 or 950 megahertz, it's not working. These amplifiers, they have a filter. It's not a soul filter, so it's not so narrow, you know, bell shape, but it's a kind of band pass filter. Let me show it something like this. Very simple to understand. Okay. So here we have the, uh, let's say, starting with 300 megahertz. And this is 1000 megahertz. Okay. When it's, uh, let's say, 433 or 433 or something like this, then the band will be something like this. Somehow, somehow it's reaching, let's say we got 868 here, 915 here. Somehow it's reaching like that, maybe. But here we have a very low amplification, like 3 dB or something. And the TX for this amplifier, it's not triggering. I couldn't make any of these devices TXing on 868 as long as they've been made for 443 or 5110 MHz. I'm still working on that. So, the band pass is like this, with a top on the frequency it was built for. All right. But what can we do? Just removing some parts, simply removing some parts, then let's say 300 megahertz here and 1000 here. Removing some parts, we can do the amplifier being almost linear, even higher than 1000 megahertz. But this is for Eric's only. We'll see uh, in a moment with nano VNA how much amplification we can get with uh, these guys. If I have one working, yes, I think this one is working and it's even filtered. Okay. So now let's go to the microscope and I'll show you what you have to do to have a kind of wideband RX amplifier. Let's go from the antenna. It's very simple to understand. So this is the antenna input here, connection, of course. It's going to one of these circuits. This is a RX TX relay, you know, this is a switch. Then it comes down here through this capacitor. And this is a low noise amplifier, AZ1502. From here, it's going there. And through this capacitor, it's going to a series of filters. Okay, we have one here, one here. I think these are coils. And then it goes here and here. And at the end, we have another switch and going out to the antenna. Okay. All we have to do is to remove this one, it's a resistor, and this one, just remove it. You know, just take it away mechanically, like this. It's gone. You see that? It's empty. All right? And the other one, absolutely the same thing. 
Okay, it's gone. Then, so now we have a straight connection from the exemplifier. Also, if you want to do some more, you can remove this, these two. All right, so we just clear the path from anything connected to the ground because this is ground, this is ground, this is ground and ground. Now we should have a very clear path from the output of this low noise amplifier to the end, to the switch. Now, if you want to have some better results and you have some skills with soldering, it's even simpler, like I did here. You see, I took out all the parts except this capacitor at the end because we need this before the switch. And I had a piece of wire from this point all the way here. So now the low noise amplifier, it's connected straight to the output. And that means, you see, no more parts here to the ground, nothing, nothing, nothing. So now we have a perfect wideband RX amplifier. And I even put a filter in the front before the switch because the TX it's not working anyway, so I don't care. I was just experimenting. And then I input through a saw filter to the switch. We can bypass the switch if you like low noise amplifier going here directly you see there is no more capacitor nothing from here we are going down here a single capacitor and the output switch simple now you have a really nice rx amplifier kind of wideband amplifier okay this is very clear hopefully like i said before i'm still working with uh, trying to understand how the amplifier is built, so maybe I can get a TX2. There should be a filter like that, of course, but I don't have, uh, you know, time. <laughs> I'll do that someday, of course. Now, let me have my Nano VNA connected through an attenuator. The amplifier, it's uh, huge, minus 20 attenuator here we go so this amplifier it's already modified like that i even have this filter in front here so this will give a very narrow filtered 868 megahertz uh, signal 5 volts power supply do we have power here uh yeah of course we have all we have to do now is to connect the input to the amplifier. Is that okay? It should be. Oh man, it's too short. Remember what have I told about cables and connectors and all the other stuffs? They always need to be checked. Nano VNA is already calibrated. Okay, I think we are ready to go. And there we are, people. I have a minus 8.25 dB amplification and there is the signal. But let me put it on the nano VNA saver to have a better look on the computer. Let's have first from 200 to 1200 megahertz, a very wide band. And there we go. This is the amplification uh, chart. Of course, we have a peak on 866, let's see the blue one, 868 megahertz. And we have a gain of minus 8.734. And if you consider minus 20 from the attenuator, and okay, minus 8 point, uh, it's a quick mathematic seven that's like three one eleven point three db amplification on 868 megahertz and i'm pretty sure this one 
goes through all the other parts. I don't think it's a straight connection there. I don't want to take it out anyway. Let's narrow the band. And there we are. And uh, let's look for the red marker. Right there. Minus 8.069. We have a top amplification of minus 7.2 at 859. We don't care about that. I hope it's useful. It's a very easy to do modification and this way you can make a use of uh, non-band uh, AB amplifiers. Like I said before, it's pretty quiet. See the other videos I did about uh, noise of AB amplifiers and the other stuffs. Of course, it's still a work in progress. I have to find the TX filter too and to get rid of that to open the TX part of the things. And uh, I let you know all the aspects, all the progress in this uh, situation. Please like, please uh, subscribe, send me your comments, send me your question, I'll be happy to answer that. And uh, of course, rule number one, have some fun. Bye bye.